Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPhone apps that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device in February 2022. Before I get into the apps, I just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel because most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course turn on notifications. Now we're starting things off with Tweet Query. This app allows us to search for something specific on Twitter. You can specify things like match an exact keyword, exclude a keyword, add an, any hashtag you want, or just search from a specific account on Twitter. And of course, you can enable things like must contain an image, a video, or a URL. So it's pretty simple to use. You do the search, basically enter all the keywords, anything you need here, and the results will be shown on the Twitter app. So let's just search something here specifically for my account. And once you have entered the account, you can of course go ahead and enter other things like maybe a keyword. So let's just search for iPhone tap on add right there and tap on the search button you can see right now it redirects us to twitter it will show all the results only for my account and of course matching the keyword that we have entered on the app converted is the next app for the video it allows us to convert pretty much any unit you can think of it's very easy to use very nice and simple interface now you can see right here on the front page you will have all the different things that you can convert from speed to pressure, temperature, time, volume, length, weight, currency, anything you want to actually convert. So let's just go with weight here. Now at the top right there, we can choose what we want to convert to what. So we, in this case, we have kilograms and let's just convert that to pounds. So we enter right there a number tap on convert and we have the result right here as you can see very very simple to use and you can convert pretty much anything you can think of bar chart maker is the next app for the video very useful probably for a lot of people maybe like students or anyone that needs to create a chart it will be very very simple to do it with this app this is the interface and what you will see once you open the app you tap on new value right there and you can start adding the bar so let's just add a tag there and then go ahead and enter the value here and you can also pick a color for that bar so let's just go with that tap on add and there we have it of course we can add the other bars enter the value for the other bar as well and of course even add a color for it tap on add and there we have it so you can create the bar, a bar chart just like that pretty pretty simple you can see right there we have the bars you have the names there and all that and of course you will also have options right here so you can show the values the lines and the details as well and of course once you're done with that you can save this as an image on your media library it's really really easy to use and of course very very simple now if you want to reset this you can just tap right here on reset or you can tap on one of the bars if you want to change something or delete that specific bar Counter is the next app for this video. It allows us to easily keep track of your subscribers, number of views, and also the number of videos that you have on your YouTube channel. Now, once you open the app, you enter the name of your channel, just search for it, and it will show you the result, and you can just add your channel here. You can, of course, go ahead and change it from here, and then you will get all the details, subscribers, views, and videos right here. You can tap on share if you wanna just share this information right here, and what's really cool is that you can also have a widget on the home screen of your device, which will show you the number of subscribers that you have on your channel. And that's really, really cool. If you just want to keep track of your channels, subscribers all the time, you can have this on your home screen. Date Calculator is the next app for the video. It allows us to easily calculate the time between two specific dates. So we can just go ahead and change the date right here. So let's just pick another date. Let's go with January 1st here. And it will show us basically how much time it has passed from that date until the current date so we have here 31 days it says one month and if you tap on see more you can even see the exact number of days weeks hours minutes and seconds and if you go to calculator you can choose which date will be after a specific number of years months or days that you set here so let's say we have to do something in 22 days and to right there it will show you the exact date that it will be or let's say two months and 22 days you can see you get the exact date right there pretty simple to use and of course very very useful anytime you need to calculate any time or any date you can just do it with this app 
The next app for the video is called Quick Keyboard. It is super useful. It is a third party keyboard for your iPhone. And the first thing you want to do after you install this app is go to settings, go to general, go to keyboard, go to keyboards and make sure you add here Quick Keyboard. Once you have done that, you can go into the app and here you can create different folders for different things. Let's say you can create a folder maybe for different phrases you use frequently and you want to quickly add them from the keyboard and you can create a new folder right here maybe for your emails or your phone numbers and things like that. Once you have done that, what you gotta do is just go ahead and tap the globe here and anytime you need to enter anything that you have saved on the app, you can just switch between the folders that you have there right here and quickly tap on any like item that you have added and enter them quickly on your uh, on your device it's pretty simple to use and very very useful it will make your life that much easier you don't have to manually type every time you want to type your email maybe a phone number any details that you need and of course you use frequently on your device you can just enter them using this keyboard and you will also have buttons here like the return button or the delete button which makes it pretty simple to edit any text you have entered without having to go back to the original ios keyboard the next app for the video is called Pretty Progress. So you set a date here for an event maybe, and it will show you the progress in percentage right here until that date. Or you will have the defaults here like the today date, and of course you have this week, this month, and the year as well. You can tap the plus button to enter your own right here, and you can customize it any way you want. Now the cool thing is that you can also have these counters on the home screen of your iOS device. Of course, using the home screen widgets, you can just go ahead and enter them here. And of course, you will be able to edit these, tap on edit widget, and you can choose what you want to see there. So change between the different countdowns that you have on the app and display them right here on your home screen. Blur Faces is the next app for the video. It is super useful if you wanna hide faces from a picture and it works automatically. You don't have to do anything manually. Once you load a picture from your camera roll, you can see the result right here. It will automatically hide the faces. Now what you can do right here is of course, edit these blurs. So you can go to touch right there if you just wanna maybe move that around or make it bigger or smaller or just do that manually. So you can see right there, you can expand that and if you go to erase right here, you can choose what you want to delete. Maybe you want to delete a blur from one of the faces that are on that picture. And right here, you can also change the shape of that blur and of course, even change the amount of blur with this slider. Pretty, pretty useful and of course, very, very simple to use. You tap the save button right here whenever you want to save the result on your camera roll. Remove Background is the next app for the video. This is also a photo editing app that will work automatically and it will remove the background from your pictures. Now it works pretty well with most of the pictures. Of course, you will need pictures that have actually a subject in focus for this to really work as it should. And you can see this picture right here. This is the original. And once you load it into the app, it will actually remove the background. As you can see, it works pretty good. You tap right there once you want to save your result. And of course, you can view it. You can save it under your gallery or you can delete it from the app. And last but not least is Infinity Clock. Now this is a clock app that has some really nice looking clocks that you can add to your device. Maybe just leave this as a stand right there, maybe on your desk or while they're sleeping at your bedside. It's really, really cool. And you can change between different colors here. And of course, change between different themes that you might want to. Now, the cool thing about this is that it also has some really nice clocks for your home screen. So you can see three of them right here, which look really, really cool. And of course, will make your device look that much cooler. Now, if you go to this one right here, you can tap on edit widget and you can choose the theme and you can also choose the type, even though that's all on Chinese. I don't know why, but you can change between different types of clock right here and just choose the one that you prefer and make your home screen look a bit different. You can see how cool this one right here is. And you can see all of these even show the seconds right there moving on your home screen, which makes the home screen look really, really nice. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the apps. If you did, make sure to check out the pinned comment of this video. You will find all the links there. Again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you on the next one.